he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 169 pounds, representing Elite Fight and Fighting out of Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Introducing Carlos Hassan. This opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. His record, four wins versus three defeats. He stands six feet and two inches tall. He went in at 169 and one half pounds. Representing American top team, Kendall, fighting out of Miami, Florida. Presenting Jose, the fresh prince of Kendall, the Sanders. Your referee is Jorge Ortiz. I was starting to say, Jose's little brother, he, Jose's always felt that he was better than him at the stand-up, but Jose was better on the ground. The fighters come together, and Bazan is straight, swinging for the fences. Right off the bat. Jose looks very, very collected. Oh! Caught him. Caught him with Solid that check left, left hook. Oh, nice and elbow, another elbow. elbow. Second elbow. He looks at He's hurt. Yeah, he is. Trying to pull guard. Not going to work. Trying to take his back into the cage. He now, just got uh, hit by a couple of solid strikes. Very well done to stay up. There you go. Another elbow, another elbow. Carlos is putting, uh, putting a clinic on right now when it comes to standing Muay Thai. Fighters look like they're uh, showing a little wear. Yep, both of them got a little blood. Left eye of Bazan. Right cheek of Caceres. This is where all the martial arts training of uh, Caceres comes into play. He doesn't get, he doesn't get uh, frazzled or worried in these types of situations. Jose Caceres in the blue shorts coming forward. Carlos Alberto Bazan Rojas. Black shorts. Rojas is throwing heavy, heavy hands. Sarah seems more of a strong right. Oh! Bazan is really connecting. Yeah, Rojas throws heavy, heavy strikes. Sarah's going to have to be careful with his hands down. Yeah, he is. Looks like a traditional point sparring karate guy right now. Oh, that, was solid, another one. that was a solid, that was another oh, solid a... punch. Rojas is throwing heavy punches. He's trying to end this fight quick. Caceres has him up against the fence. He needs that time to recover. He's eaten a lot of strong strikes tonight. Only halfway through the first round. strikes that like that uh, we're gonna get to see what type of cardio Rojas has he's a big dude those big muscles tire you out quick yeah they do especially when you're throwing all power he's a lot of both of them are split pretty good already like Rojas has cut on his lip and his eye at this point Definitely content to swing tonight. Oh! Caceres looked like he hurt Rojas going for the knee. Caceres throwing a nice combination. One, two, spinning back fist into a flying knee. The crowd loves it. Yeah, this guy, uh, he's here to entertain, to say the least. Another one, two combination with the right landing. Looks like Caceres is trying to... Caceres lining up that right. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. He, uh, he's starting to uh, get his timing and distancing down. Looking for his back. Caceres is draped all over him right now. Looks like uh, Rojas is starting to fight for underhooks. is content on locking on to this rear naked right now. Un 
under a minute in the first round. Rojas is defending these uh, submissions well. He's trying to peel Caceres off by using the cage. Caceres now ground and pound for uh, trying to throw some rabbit punches. Back to the rear naked, standing rear naked. He's doing a good job of getting his arm in there. Yeah. Um, what I noticed, you know, out of Caceres is he's always attacking. And um, the, when they say the best defense is a good offense, and that's what he's uh, that's what he's showing right now. If he's not attacking for a submission, he's throwing punches. Ten seconds left. Caceres again, looking for that rear naked choke. Seems like it is a decent block in, and that's the end of the round. Carlos Kazan definitely saved by the bell there. I would have to agree, you know, uh, at the beginning of the round, it looked like Rojas was going to, you know, dominate that first round, but uh, the martial arts training of Jose Carasagas is uh, coming out on top. I mean, he, he didn't get worried. He didn't get, uh, you know, he didn't get rattled in there, and um, it seems to me like he won that, that round towards the end of the round. I gotta tell you, I, I think I agree. I think he I think he stole that round because he was hurt bad in that first two minutes. So he got good. rocked by elbows, by strikes, by, by fists. He was getting hurt. And uh, and I saw him in front of us here, and his head was just shaking from side to side. He was he was hurt bad. So fair play to him. That shows a lot of heart, a lot of composure. Looks like the conductor did a good, good job with the symphony so far. He kind of called that from the beginning <laughs> of the fight, didn't he? <laughs> Definitely, uh, Kurosawa, one of his main attributes is, is his mind and, and uh, the type of will that he has from the inside. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get to see what, how this is going to play out towards the end. Definitely a mental game. You can see him working on his breathing there between rounds. Caceres always provides a little bit of clowning. <laughs> nice inside leg kick by Caceres, starting to uh, try to set up the distance here. Well done. Nice spinning kick, even though it was blocked, it looked nice. Rojas is looking like he's uh, trying to... Oh, oh, nice, nice flying knee. Rojas is looking like he's trying to save his energy for those power punches that he's setting up. Nice leg kick. Drunk Caceres to the knee. Solid double leg. Very good defense by Rojas. Caceres into the cage. Caceres is doing a good job of mixing up his mixing up his strikes. I don't know if he has the knockout power, but he's doing a good job of soften, softening up of uh, Bazan. I would agree with that. Uh, Caceres doesn't look like he's throwing a whole lot of power into these punches, but you know, two or three of these in a row and uh, they get in the fight. Well, for the judges, he's leaving his mark on Bazan's face. Yep. There we go, making. Well played, well knee, good knee. Good head movement. Bazan. Nice body kick. Bazan's looking a little bit tired now. Yep. That was a that was a tired kick. I totally agree with you. That's something we talked about at the beginning of the first round. We're gonna get to see what kind of type of conditioning he has. We're not even halfway through the second round. He's starting to slow down a bit. We'll see if uh, Caceres is able to get in there. Caceres hits it with a solid spinning elbow. The spinning techniques seem to be working with Caceres. Nice knee to the body. He's got a lot of very fluid movement. There he is with some <laughs> Nice right. takedown. Take Caceres is already in half guard right now. Nice body lock. 
starting to use his uh, right foot uh, instep there to start to peel that half guard off and try to get to the side. Now this is where Jose feels he's really strong. Well, Rojas just uh, got him back to his guard pretty easily, so I would have to agree with him. Jose Caceres trying to pass the guard. Rojas is setting up that sweep. He's got uh, one foot on the hip and one in step under the thigh. Now it looks like he let it go. That looked like a painful strike to Caceres here. Caceres just sitting in his guard and landing some ground and pound. Broke his guard, now he's at the side. Oh, and uh, Rojas will stand up. Connects with the left on the way up. Boom! Oh, solid elbow. It's on just connected with a solid right. Rojas has a, a definite advantage on the inside striking game. That's where he needs to get. It seems like every time he hits him with something, he's, he's, uh, he's wobbling him. Oh, nice little guillotine attempt. Uh, to, be, to be fair to Caceres, he's managing the distance very well. Agreed. Because you're right, Bazan is, is really... When Caceres is in, in that close range, Bazan is pounded. Yep. Absolutely punishing. But Caceres is really doing a very, an excellent job. He's playing a very smart game. Yep. Caceres right there. He presses him into the cage and takes his back. He's a, li he's a little high. It looks like Rojas could maybe shake him off. He is starting to sink in that. It looks like he's got his left, left arm in. Not quite under the chin yet, so it doesn't look like he's committed to it. Although he is trying to sneak it in. It's 10 seconds left in the round. Looks like this round's going to end up very similar to the first. This round's a little harder to judge, in my opinion. We got both of the guys have made some solid striking. Um, although, you know, Jose did get the fight to the ground. Um, once or twice, so that that could have been that could have won that that round for him. Yeah, I think I, I would need to give that one to uh, to Jose Caceres. I, I think he's up on this one. I think the first round is a lot closer with Bazan coming out so strong the first uh, first half of the first round. But that round, I, I think I'd have to give to Caceres. Yeah, this fight could possibly be at 2-0 uh, right now, and uh, Rojas is going to have to come out and you know kind of start throwing punches. Going to have to open it up a little bit. You know, he's trying to counter punch the whole time, and uh, Jose is, uh, you know, like you said, creating distance, and uh, it's making it hard for the shorter fighter to get in close and, and connect. He's going to kind of have to just throw it to the wind and, and move forward. Well, one thing we've definitely seen tonight is that Carlos Alberto Bazan Rojas has knockout power. I do agree with that. Every time he... Uh, he connects when a punch, Jose tends to wobble. So uh, he needs to get in there and throw some heavy hands. Another two very, very tough fighters tonight. Final round. Sarah seems to be moving uh, a lot better than he did at the end of that round. And uh, he's throwing heavy punches at me. Rojas seems to be uh, trying to time this up. And he's going to counter strike just like he did last time. More of the, more of the first and second round. Sarah's keeping distance, using his jab. Doing a nice little spinning heel kick. Nice body shot by Rojas. Sarah's moves out. Sarah's has a lot of good movement. Definitely better movement than superior movement than is on tonight. By far, by far. Right there he, now he's got him solid on his back for the first time. Both both heels in. Jumping back, he's got over under position. Using uh, using a little somewhat of a ground and pound to try to open up that that rear naked. Rojas uses the cage to, uh, to pull Caceres off, to get, off of his back. He's done this in all the rounds that uh, Caceres has taken his back. He's doing a good job of defending it.
but are the judges going to see this uh, and give this to Kazera? It's true. Um, these are sufficient attempts. And he is doing more, if you ask me. They're still looking for that. Kazan turns into him. Sheds Caceres off his back. And now he's got Caceres up against the cage. Elbow, solid elbow. Nice oh, kick. Solid kick to the midsection. Looks like Rojas is starting to turn it on a little bit. Decent double leg by... Oh, very nice takedown by Caceres. Solid blast double, and then he finishes the trip right into the mount. Brilliant. Brilliant process. Caceres starting to ground and pound. Looks like Rojas is simply trying to hold on. He is right in front of uh, his his uh, corner right now, so he is getting some decent. He's getting uh, you know great great coaching out, out of his corner, but uh, Caceres has dominant position right here and um, is waiting to posture up and start ground and pound. Caceres' technique has been very, very efficient, very effective tonight. Yeah, he's a true mixed martial artist. He's not a, he's not any type of specialist. He uses every part of martial arts properly. Slowly sliding into position like a python. Take his back again. Caceres has found himself in this position quite a bit this evening. Just fishing for that rear naked. Looks Rojas like needs to do something. That's a painful position to have his mandible like that, not just a choke. And he, he, he taps him out. Jose Caceres. Caceres didn't even have that under his under his neck. It was actually more of a neck crank than anything. He had that rear naked locked around his jaw and used it as a neck crank. Solid, solid finish by Jose Caceres. Every time I see this guy fight, I'm impressed with him. Yet another submission. His record may be only five and three right now, but uh, it's because this guy will fight anybody and everybody. Right now, Caceres is in there with his team, and uh, you know, a lot of celebration. Rojas was a, uh, you know, he was a, uh, he was a big prospect, and. Uh, Harris came out and finished him, just like he said he was going to in his interview. Right here, he hits him with a nice little duck under that hook. Pushes him into the cage. Works off and takes his back. This is where Caceres found himself pretty much the whole fight. Um, every round, he, he, he got to Rojas' back. Caceres' hand up high. Ducks under the hook. Right into back position again found himself here over and over and over again. Finally, towards the end of the fight, he was able to use that and finish it. All right, we're going to send it up to uh, into the cage with Jazz Sakiro for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight has been taken out to a rear naked choke. Thank you. 